Today we are going to talk about scores. What are the scores and who is scoring who? Find out in the video. Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I'm Polish Pete and I'm eBay reseller based in UK. Today I've got for you episode number two of the series How to Sell More on eBay. If you haven't watched the first episode of this series, I suggest you to do it. It's there. Now, what I'm going to talk about today is not something set in stone. There is no scientific evidence, hard proof, you know, solid evidence of that being true. But for some time now, I've been watching some conferences and presentations and speeches performed by eBay employees and very experienced sellers. And these are my conclusions out of those, those presentations and speeches. This is what I think and I don't have to be right. The best piece of software that you can use to establish what's true, what's not true, what works on eBay, what doesn't work on eBay, is an app called Human Brain 1.0. Use it. I strongly believe that eBay search algorithm called Cassini, which decides who gets the eBay traffic, sets up two scores that it uses to estimate the quality of your listings and the quality of your entire account. And based on those two scores, it sends you certain amount of traffic uh, to your listings. <clears throat> One score is the score of every single individual listings and another score is the score of your entire account. Both of them are connected there is synergy between them, one influence the other, and vice versa. Now, the first score, the one of each and individual listing, is more important for multiplied listings. When you've got a number of items to sell, you know, in one listing. When one item sells, the scores, the score goes up and Cassini sends more traffic to that listing. If, list, if that listing converts again, Cassini sends more traffic, etc., etc., etc. There are sellers who, for example, have like 50 the same items uh, in one listing and they start cheap with heavily, you know, with heavy promoted listing fees. And when the listing gets velocity, gets few sales, they just rise the price up slowly and decrease those promoted listings fees slowly. Classic example, guys. How many times have you seen a YouTube reseller saying something in like that in their uh, sales roundup video? Oh, I had two of these in the listing and they haven't sold for a year. Then one sold out of nowhere and another one sold couple of days you know uh, later it's strange no guys it isn't strange it's perfectly normal and perfectly predictable first item sold so Cassini said oh it's a good item let's send more traffic to that listing because there is another uh, item like that and maybe it will sell and we will earn more money uh, from the commission. So the score of the listing has gone up and the traffic has started to flow. Classic and simple example of that. But what about single listings? You know, single listings with only one uh, uh, item in them, which are basically the, ba the base of the reseller's world. It's important as well because you can do things 
that will push that score up so you can get more traffic and eventually sell the item. It's not easy, but it's doable. For example, if you get a watcher, your listing gets a boost. So you would like to get more watchers, more watchers, more watchers on your listings so they can go up and up finally so sell. But if, if you get few watchers on a single listing, and there is no sale, that listing will go down because the traffic is not converting. So Ebel will, will say, right, we are sending traffic, but the item is not selling, so there is no point to send more traffic. That is why I actually hate to have items with like 10 watchers on them, because those items are dragging down the entire account. Because eBay says, there is no point to send this guy traffic because those items only get watchers but nothing is selling so when i got an item with plenty of watchers i do my best to send offers to watchers just to sell this item just to sell it and get that boost from a sale so what are the ways to boost your listing score for example, accepting returns, quick dispatch time, lot of delivery options, you know, price within the market level, and stuff like that. So let's say you offer 30 days return. Change it to 60 and your listing will get a better score in the Cassini's eyes. Yeah? What about the other score? The score of your entire account. Uh, this score comes basically out of your individual listing scores, but can be influenced as well. There are things that have positive and negative impact on this score. In terms of positives, what will give your entire account a boost? Number one, sales. Every sale on your account gives you a boost. It gives you a boost to the listing, if it's a multi-item listing, but also gives you a boost to entire account to the rest of the listings. Imagine a trampoline yeah, with balls on it. Yeah, you get a sale yeah, and you slap the trampoline with your hand. And all those balls, which represent your other listings, will go up for a short period of time. So you get a sale and all your listings are going up for a short period of time to check if eBay can get another conversion, another sale, another uh, final uh, value fee. So all your listings get a boost when you sell something that is why it is so important to have that sales velocity to keep sales coming in coming in coming in never let your sales to go down because ultimately at the end of the day ebay loves your account when you are selling because they are making money number two Dispatching items. I dispatch items twice a week when I'm abroad. Well, my, my wife does it. And every time she does it, say on Monday morning, by Monday noon, I usually have a couple of sales which I tend to not, not to have on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Yeah, because my wife did the dispatch. We've printed those labels we mark those items are as dispatched so ebay says right this this guy is dispatching items so the account is in good shape in good condition so let's give him more traffic number three positive feedback positive feedback will give your account a boost it's the ultimate signal to the algorithm that you are doing your job because it's it's a signal of a positive buyer's experience. 
everything was like it's supposed to be item was described as it's supposed to be you know item came on time and you know and and seller is happy uh, sorry buyer is happy you know people are satisfied so cassini says let's send him more traffic so we can get more satisfied users on of the platform if you want to see an interesting way of chasing the feedback have a look at this guys so what are the things that will give you a negative impact on your account what can put your account down the toilet and make Cassini forget about it you know uh, entirely number one lack of sales if you don't get sales for whatever reasons think only go worse Cassini says this guy is not converting there is no point to waste more traffic on him because our traffic is you know limited because our traffic there is only so many buyers on ebay let's send those buyers to somebody who is actually converting it cassini will still send you some traffic but probably the worst kind of traffic because i strongly believe ebay knows which of the customers are good which are of the customers are bad you know it knows who who is the browser who is the buyer so it will send you only those browsers yeah number two bad feedback same story as with positive feedback just the other way around if you get a negative or neutral feedback try to contact the buyer fix the issue and having have him or her revising the feedback if that didn't work uh, try to contact ebay and get that negative feedback removed number three all the defects against your account late delivery item not received item out of stock you know there is not much i can say about it you know just except just asking you to avoid them number four a return case opened against you now you can't avoid them but there are ways to reduce them so so do your best to get as few returns as possible and when you have a return case opened be kind and professional while dealing with the return even if you know that the customer is pulling your finger don't fight them there is no point ebay will almost always side the buyer and you will be forced to accept this return refund the money and at the end of the day you will get a slap against your account number five slacking with dispatch if you know you should have as short dispatch time as possible really but even if your dispatch is uh, set on five days so in theory you've got five days to dispatch the item and ebay can't penalize you for dispatching this item on the fifth day you will see a drop of sales on that third day fourth day and fifth day and then it will all go back to normal when you dispatch the items because on that third day fourth day fifth day ebay says right ah i'm not sure really if this guy will send those items out i'm not sure if he's doing his job i'm not sure if he's still alive yeah so when you dispatch the items you give ebay a signal clear signal yes i'm here i'm on top of things i'm doing my job an interesting point here guys back in 2019 i was going backwards and forwards between uk and poland i must have taken almost i don't know a dozen of trips to poland and back yeah so every time my phone has logged to the polish network when i landed in poland 
I had a drop of sales in sales. Every time without the fail. eBay must have thought like, right, this guy is abroad. I don't know if you'll be able to dispatch things, right? And every time everything used to go back to normal when my wife has done the first dispatch. eBay then knew that I'm still dispatching, I'm still doing my job. Yeah, interesting thing not many people know about. So, like I've said, guys, I've got no proof for all that, but it's what I think about it. Yeah, you have to decide for yourself, observe your account, your sales, and draw conclusion, you know, out of that, and, and make your own mind about it. Right. If you think this video was helpful, please give me a thumb up and consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss future episodes of this series. Have a great day, guys. God bless you all and bye bye.